stuff go, y'all. Much as I'd love to skip it, I gotta go face the Nashville music. <laughs> oh man, what a bummer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, you guys. It was such a fun week in Nashville. It was great, but it's time to pay the Nashville music. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> time to pay the piper. We gotta go way in. And it's weird because, like, my brain, I know, just tries to trick me. I, I thought I was making a lot of good choices because I... I felt like I was making good choices. I mean, I didn't get fried pickles, I got regular pickles, just weird little things like that. Eating plain baked potato with no butter and not even sour cream, just, I used the um, meat stuff and put it on top. I was doing all kinds of little things that are Weight Watchers hack, so I guess it, it could have been a lot worse than it was, is my thought. My problem is snacking. That's what it is. It's snacking. I do good sitting in a restaurant, tough as nails. I can just go through, tell the waiter, no butter, blah, 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 suffer through, whatever, you know? But snacking, I just, I don't know. My brain like wipes out. Put my hand in a big bucket. You know those pretzel nuggets that have peanut butter in them? I knew, I'm like, I'll just get three, okay, five. I'll just get five, and that'll be fine. Peanut butter protein, it'll last and make me, yeah. I know, it's just lies, I guess I tell myself. I don't know. <sighs> In the moment, though, it just, like, my brain lies to me. It says it's okay, or, you know, I've walked a lot. I've done stairs the whole time. I've done this and that. And another thing too, um, <laughs> I'm on some of the Weight Watchers Facebook pages. Oh my goodness, last night, so many women out there <laughs> doing the woe is me thing. Like I feel like I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, we're surrounded by yummy food, you know, that's hard. That's hard. Hard enough to, you know. eat right. The whole point is I have to learn how to be surrounded by yummy food and not eat it. You know, I just can't do that. I have to keep myself surrounded with fruit or vegetables or whatever will actually help me in the long run, help my goal, you know, because I have to do this. And now I feel like I'm going to go in here and weigh in and I'm going to be up five pounds. And that was so hard to get to the 20 pound loss. I mean, I have to do a quarter of it over again. It's just, I'm defeating myself. Uh, just can't listen to my brain when it lies to me and tells me it'll be okay just to go ahead and enjoy myself because. I'm not always in Nashville and you should just enjoy it and you can work on it later and no. No brain, no. Quit lying to me. I'm gonna have to start talking to myself. That'll be awkward. I'll show you guys some clips um, of the food I ate <laughs> in Nashville. Because I was wanting to be all upset that my scale said I was five pounds overweight. And then I kind of started scrolling through my photo reels. And while it's not as bad, I'll admit, it's not as bad as it could have been had I not been aware at all, just totally let go. But it's not Weight Watchers. Uh, it's not 
maybe I maybe I could have done maintenance and got away with some of that. But I'm not trying to actively lose weight. There were just too many good things. It's such a battle too. Like if I would have known I was gonna gain weight, I wouldn't have got the turkey sandwich. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it was a and I said took I got the bacon on the side and gave it to Sean and the baby. Like, you know, those kind of things. If I knew I was gonna gain weight, I would have just got the pulled pork with the coleslaw on it, you know, or whatever it was. All the other good ones. There were so many good sandwiches. And I thought, well, roasted turkey and avocado, and I just won't have the bacon. Why am I so efficient at gaining weight? Like, that's so annoying. There's so many other things I'd rather be good at. <laughs> I mean, if we're ever in a famine, I'm in good shape. <laughs> you can stick with me. I'll just give you my food, because I'll be fine for a couple years. <laughs> oh, man. So next time you see me, I will be so silent. Get out. I don't know. I'll leave you guys to watch some of these food things that I ate through Nashville. And I didn't even vlog them all. I mean, you have to eat every day. I, I'm not. I mean, you have to eat, but it was good. That was good. Now that I'm sitting here, I think maybe it was worth it. Probably not, but maybe. Because now that I'm thinking about it, that was some good food. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm going to make myself weigh in. I don't care. I do care, but I'm super bummed. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, I had a fun time in Nashville, so... <laughs> my salad's already gone. Here, show me your good onion rings. <laughs> I got grilled and a salad. And I'm not eating my coleslaw. I took the cheese off my salad. I'm trying to be good. Chicken's, did we get Greek? It's chicken Greek yeah, salad. Yeah, Greek with chicken in it. And grilled chicken. There's a sauce underneath them. It's like a sauce they're sitting down in. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oops. Hey, Huckleberry. <laughs> Me too. Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's so cool. ounce mimosa. Why am I not getting that? I don't know. <laughs> I got roasted turkey and I gave the bacon to Sean to put on his burger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the she's a good woman. <laughs> and Mr. Baby ate some bacon straight up. Yep. Oh. Oh, French God. toast and scrambled chorizo eggs. Yum. <laughs> Chocolate. Sugar free for me. What'd you get, Jay? Show. <laughs> What'd you get? Cookie lime pie truffle. Mm -hmm. Lime pie. Is it good? What'd you get, Pop Pop? Caramel. Oh, pop -pop. We got the big caramel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a big guy. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, man, you had me at... Oh, you had me at brisket, I know that. <laughs> Let me get the sign real quick. Delicious. It smells delicious. So did you see all that stuff I ate in Nashville? I mean, I tried to be good. I don't know if you could tell by any of the clips, but like getting um, spring rolls that weren't fried, I specifically talked to waiters and waitresses and tried to make an effort. But what you didn't see in the clip <laughs> was the wine tasting, just little sip of wine, that doesn't count right, but it did. And the peanut butter pretzels. Um, so just the little things that I probably would have been okay had I just been on maintenance, you know, but I'm actively trying to lose weight, so that was not so good. And my sticker was not so lucky this week. <laughs> I'm so sad. But um, it's the first time I've been up. <sighs> but it wasn't five pounds up. It was only 0.8 up, which is kind of sad to have to do an update where you're up. Or you gained weight on Weight Watchers. Why am I gaining weight on Weight Watchers? I know better than that. But it's a lifetime, you know. All the little food noises, I give myself excuses when I should, so. But for now, I'm up 0.8. First time I've been up, so I'm super sorry, guys. I'm embarrassed and sad. But I did have a fun time in Nashville. I'm trying to tell myself it's better than it could be. Let's get started. If I wouldn't have been trying at all, apparently. Love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.